Hey guys, Ivan here, and today is Sunday, tomorrow the new week starts, but now let's check out what is happening in the bodybuilding world, what these professional bodybuilders are prepping for, what they are looking like, and right now, this Sunday, we are about 5 days, only 5 days out of Italy Pro, and we're gonna check one of the Italy Pro contenders, Blessing Alvoribu who, as I'm sure you guys know, competed recently at Chicago Pro and he didn't win, he didn't do that well, he was prepping alone and after that show, at that show, he approached Matt Jansen, he tried to hire him, but Matt Jansen had to decline him because he already has too many bodybuilders and like 10 of them, including other divisions, you know, female divisions and I think classy guys are doing the Mr. Olympia. So he's gonna have his hands full for the Mr. Olympia. So he had to decline blessing of Oribu, but he proposed to him that he hires Cameron Cheek. Who the hell is Cameron Cheek? He is one of the Camp Jansen coaches. He's working under... Matt Jensen and he is one of the pop more popular coaches that are actually building up their name. So far he had a lot of success in getting people in shape, but he never really had an opportunity to work with this kind of a bodybuilder, you know, heavy heavyweight bodybuilder, professional Olympian, right? So this was an amazing opportunity for Cameron Cheek and I think that's why this is gonna work very very well, especially if Blessing can trust this guy. And it seems like it's working pretty well. Like all the updates that I saw so far, it seems like Blessing is getting in pretty good condition and he's not really losing the size. Maybe he's flat, but he's gonna carb up. I'm pretty sure this guy knows how to do a proper peak week because again, he's Camp Jensen. Blessing is gonna be competing in Italy in five days and Cameron Cheek, his coach, is gonna travel with him all the way to the Italy because once again he probably wants to give his 100% to this, to this huge opportunity for him to prove himself as a good bodybuilding, open bodybuilding coach. So yeah, I think this is a great thing for both of these guys, uh, a great collaboration. I believe it's gonna work. I mean, do I believe it's gonna work to an, to an extent where Blessing wins this show? I, I doubt that. I don't see it. Because he has two really heavy hitters, Regan Grimes and Nathan Diasha. No more good Vito. So I think Blessing has a good chance of being in that top three. And this show being the way it is, that's gonna be a success. But who knows, maybe Blessing is gonna end up winning, it's not impossible. Here's what he looks like from behind, so conditioning is like spot on, and the fullness is still kinda there. I can see that he is flat, and he does write in the captions that he is very flat, flat as a pancake, and George Fair also commented uh, in one of his photos that Blessing is always complaining about being flat, and I think that's very common amongst all these open bodybuilders, like they always wanna be big and full, sometimes you need to go flat or you will stay fat. So if this is what the Blessing looks like when he is flat, and the conditioning is going well, then yeah, I believe he's gonna peak quite, quite well for this show. Once again, I do not see him winning this show, even though I do think he's a great bodybuilder, I know he won the New York, he is an Olympian and all that, and he has an amazing structure and all that, and I do believe he's going to be in good condition, and he's gonna peak well, he's gonna be shredded and full and everything like that, but the reason why I don't think he's going to win is simply the size of his legs. And that's really not something you can change, you know, during the, the peak week or the prep or whatever. And it seems like it's not something you can change even in the off-season. Because I believe Blessing had a good off-season, but genetically his legs just don't have uh, the, the shape, the structure. Like, uh, the, some of those muscle bellies are just not ideal. You know, That's the only flaw, basically, that he has, you know. The quads just don't have the potential to look huge, to look big. I believe it's because of the shape of the of the muscle bellies. But, you know, he, it is what it is. He can work with what he's got. And I think his conditioning is spot on. It's gonna, I think he's going to look really, really good. And once again, if he picks, you know, like insanely good, which I believe is going to happen. I believe it's going to be the case. I believe he's going to be 100%. But then, is Regan Grimes going to be off? Is he gonna miss his peak working with one of the best coaches in the world right now and they're working together for a while now and it seems like Regan looks right now, he looks better than ever. 
So is that gonna happen? Is Blessing gonna be that lucky? I don't see that. No, no. Or is Nathan the Asher gonna be off working for the first time though with uh, Stefan, the guy that coaches Urs? He's from Austria. I don't know if you guys know him, but also very good coach. So if these two guys fail, maybe Blessing has a chance, but I don't see that happening because, I mean, first of all, look at Regan Grimes. Look, Nathan Diasha is on paper a better bodybuilder. He has more wins. He has been doing this for a longer time. He has been he has placed at a Mr. Olympia much higher than Regan. He was, I believe, seven 2018 or 17. He won New York. He won, I believe, nine shows, nine professional shows. So Nathan Diasha has a huge career and very, very successful one. But man, like we all know, we always knew that Regan Grimes has the potential to win the Mr. Olympia. Like he doesn't have any big flaws. He has the right structure. He has beautiful shape, beautiful aesthetics, beautiful symmetry, a uh, very, very good back, which is very important. Uh, he has a lot of good points. The conditioning was always kind of questionable. Muscularity too, he could be bigger and thicker. But this year, it seems like he really improved a lot. When he started this prep, I thought he was gonna be the same. He really didn't look like much. But apparently he was saving himself, it seems like. He was saving himself for this prep to peak perfectly for the show. And at one week out, this is what he looks like. And this is pretty crazy, guys. This is pretty nutty. Like, I don't... I, I know, I never saw Regan Grimes looking like this. I mean, look at his chest separation. And chest, that's, that's one of his weaknesses right and Milos talked about is how much he was focusing on uh, on helping Regan perfect his execution on chest exercises because they were really focusing on bringing those lines in the chest you know those lines that for example uh, uh, Hari Chopin has you know and it seems like it's working I don't know what it looks like from the fr actually I do know what it looks like from the front let me show you yeah, this is what it looks like from the front. There are definitely a whole bunch of lines, cross striations on his chest. And I believe he's flat here. I mean, he's gotta be. He's working very hard on bringing crazy conditioning. Uh, best case scenario, he had a little refeed, but he is not blasting full. He is not gonna be blasting full until he steps on the stage. And we all know what Milos does in the last week. I mean, usually these guys get as conditioned as possible as depleted and then when the show comes they are super super full because Milos loads them with a ton of with a ton of carbohydrates and when they are conditioned he also knows how to get them dry so I can't wait to see the final package on stage I believe Regan is gonna be more conditioned than ever and probably fuller and, and like harder than ever than he ever was so at this point in my prediction I have Regan winning Italy Pro uh, let's wait and see. Maybe maybe Nathan brings something even more crazy. I mean, Regan already beat Nathan once at Prague Pro, I think, two years ago. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen this time around. But based on what I'm seeing from Regan, I do have Regan winning this show. If you guys are enjoying my content and you want to show some appreciation, you can simply do that by trying, for example, Vintage Blast, a two-stage pre-workout, not, not super strong, it doesn't have like too much caffeine, a lot of stimulants, but it tastes delicious. It has what it needs to have. And if you guys want to try it, there is the link down below. Just make sure one thing, and that is to use the code EVAN, which will give you a 15% discount. And that's how you can show this channel some support. So thank you guys. Four or five weeks before the Mr. Olympia, John Jewett is going to have his open debut. He already qualified for the 212 Olympia, that's his main objective, but he's gonna try and test himself in the open division, which I believe he must do, because he look to me, he looks much better when he's bigger. And right here he's around 225. So around 13 pounds heavier than all the photos that we got of John Jewett from the stage. And look at him right now, like he is ready. I mean he doesn't need to get any more condition. As far as conditioning, this is this is top notch. And who he's gonna have at that Legion Sport? Well, probably Gudvito, right? I mean, he has been denied the visa for European countries, but he has not been. He was actually accepted in the U.S. And I think there is only one show in the U.S. left, and that's Legion. So we're gonna watch. We're probably gonna watch 
John Jewett versus Good Vito, and that's gonna be an interesting battle. I don't know what other bodybuilders will compete at that show. If you guys have any information, you can tell us in the comment section down below. But uh, for now, I know about John Jewett and probably Good Vito. Good Vito looks great in his photos, but we all know that he edits them a little and he never really has this kind of separation in the glutes and the hamstrings and the lower back, like he's not this shredded, let's be real, so he doesn't have this kind of, uh, you know, maturity, uh, he's not this carved out. He's definitely not in this condition. I mean, he is prepped by Chris Asito, so he's probably gonna be in the best condition he can be. But is it gonna be better than John Jewett's conditioning? And this is John Jewett in the open, where he doesn't have to make the weight, where he doesn't have to suffer too much and then have like a day to carb up. He can carb up for three days if he likes to. He can come in fresh to this show. So it's definitely gonna be a much better, bigger, fuller version of John Jewett. Potentially, probably, most likely, 100% peaked physique. And with his conditioning and this, this gnarliness, this, this graininess, he has a chance against Good Vito, who is, I believe, more genetically gifted in terms of structure and like shape of the muscle bellies, proportions, you know, the, the size of the waist, of the wrists, and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe he has that, but again, this guy has crazy gnarly conditioning and he is not lacking in the size department, not even close. Maybe he is not as heavy as, as Good Vito, but he's a shorter guy. So I think it's I think it's gonna be a really good battle if it happens. I hope both of these guys are gonna do this show. I know John Jewett is gonna do it. He said he's gonna do it. When he says he's gonna do a show, he does the show. I don't know about Good Vito. Maybe he's not gonna do it. I have no idea that guy is like a wild card. But if this show happens, who is gonna win? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section down below. What do you think? I mean, I know Gubito has the potential to beat him, but is he gonna be as prepared as John Jewett is going to be? That's the question. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Enough about open bodybuilding, let's talk some classic physique. And one of my favorite classic physique guys, Wesley Wissers, is gonna be competing soon. I'm not sure when, but to me he looks like, you know, he's one week out. I haven't really followed his prep deeply, so I'm not sure which show exactly he's doing. You guys probably know. Tell me in the comment section down below. But as you can see, he's looking amazing. Uh, last year, he finally cracked that top 8. And that was amazing. I believe he was 8 or, or 7th even. Uh, so that was a huge success for this guy. We have been expecting him to, to really make an impact for a long, long time. Because, you know, he has like the, the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger genetics. You know, he has like those classic golden era type of genetics, aesthetics, shape. Uh, we all know classic physique is not exactly about uh, looking like a golden era bodybuilder. It's more like fitting the weight cap, having small waist and pretty look and being as conditioned as possible. So because of conditioning, he was unable to place very highly the Mr. Olympia. However, last year, he nailed the condition. And it looks like he's gonna do it this year as well. He finally figured out, maybe he figured out how to suffer, maybe he figured out what he needs to do to bring the conditioning and to look big and full. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it well, because he looks great these days. I mean, at Mr. Olympia he was amazing, but look at him now. It seems like he's been improving. The back was something he needed to improve, and it looks crazy right now. And also, I like his physique aside from it looking so classic, so golden era like, I also like his physique because he's a tall guy, you know, he's tall, even taller than Chris Bumstead, he's like, I believe six foot three, something like that, I think he's taller than me or something like that, I'm six foot two and he's, I believe, something like that, six foot three max, so he's definitely a taller guy and he filled out that frame. And to me, right now, it's, it seems like a mission impossible, but this guy has the genetics to do it. I mean, look at those freaking arms. Look at those crazy arms, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger arms with bigger triceps, probably. And like more complete shoulders, uh, maybe smaller chest, but also very, very good chest. And his legs were kind of a weakness, and maybe they still are a little bit, but they are improved. For sure, much improved. So, overall, I believe he's gonna win his Olympia qualifier, whichever show it is. And at the Mr. Olympia, where he's gonna place, well, I hope it's gonna be in that top 10. Maybe he can leapfrog some guys and place in top 6. It's gonna be hard. He needs to be, he needs to be super, super ready. He needs to be super shredded in order to do that. Is he gonna be able to do that? 
Oof, I don't know. It's, it's a tall order for sure. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to this channel for more bodybuilding content like this. And if you wanna find a way to support me and this channel, there is the link down below. It will lead you to the Old School Labs website. You can check out all the supplements they got. They have like a super premium quality of supplements. And I'm sure you're gonna love whatever you try. But if you don't like it, they will even give your money back. But there is no way that's gonna happen because you're gonna love everything you try because once again, it's super high quality. And if you use my code EVAN, you get a 15% discount. And once again, that's how you can support this channel. So guys, thank you so much. All the best and bye-bye.